video is going to be on standing repositioning. Okay, so things that we can do um, to kind of work on the things we did in quadruped or, or on all fours and then on the ground to transfer to standing. So for you, those of you that have a job that requires standing, which hopefully is a lot of you, then these this will be some ideas to start to kind of bridge the gap there. And so along the same lines of what we talked about before, um, we want to be able to find our abs and hamstrings. Okay, those are the things that are going to help to shift our body into our heels a little bit more and line us up so we have our head in line with our rib cage, in line with our pelvis, in line with our heels. Right? And this is kind of how we want to be. Now, what I don't expect is for you to um, you know, think about this all the way throughout the day because it's impossible and it's going to screw you up. But what I do feel is that when you do have, um, when you do start to feel your back or, or you start to feel pain in your knees or whatever, this is going to be your go-to thing to help to get you back into alignment to alleviate that pain. So, you know, you, you start to feel pain in your back, you're standing for an hour or so or whatever, what have you, um, then just hit a reposition that we work on here, you know, that you find to be useful and, uh, you know, then go about your day. So, um, ideally we have like a rolled up mat or something we can put our heels on, like in, in life it could be like a curb or even like a shoe. I'm, I have my shoes off because that's what I do, but you can certainly have shoes on, it's fine. In fact, I'm going to teach you how to use your shoes to kind of get what we want as well. So, first drill that we want to look at is just wall supported breathing. Okay, so um, I would come up against the wall and just slide down slightly. So, my knees are bent a little bit. All right, so here, what I'm going to do is just press my heels into the ground and dig back so I feel the back of my legs. Okay, so that's first and foremost. Second, uh, I'm just going to push my knees together a little bit so I can feel my inner thighs. And if I've told you to focus on one side, like your left side, you could just do it on your left. That's fine too. All right, third, I press, I kind of like tuck my tailbone under, so I'm kind of like scooping, so I'm kind of scooping under, finding that on the wall here, and then I'm reaching, okay? So I've got all this going on, I'm trying to feel all this stuff, and it's a lot to think about, but again, assuming that I can do this. All right, I reach, take a deep breath in through my nose. I'm just going to exhale and reach for the ceiling in front of me. I'm sorry, for the wall in front of me. Deep breath in. And you notice as I reach, my body isn't leaning forward, okay? I'm, I'm kind of hinging back with my belly button. So I'm dropping these two spaces together, my ribs and my pelvis. It's kind of like that motion. So if you watch me here, my back is arched. Now it's kind of rounded out, so it's that. Okay, I just want to do that in the wall. The wall is giving me just a little bit of a reference there. So again, deep breath in. Find those muscles, exhale, and reach for the wall in front of you. Pause. Deep breath in. Reach for the wall and pause. Deep breath in. Reach for the wall and pause. So that would be thing one. Now let's say you don't have a wall available to you, or you, um, you know, you're you're kind of trying to move beyond that, which is all, our goal ultimately. I'm going to take my shoes here. Okay, and I'm going to use my shoes like as a bolster. Okay, so my shoes are going to just be a reference for my heel. So I'm putting my heels on my shoes. Um, and again, here, I'm going to kind of, I'm just going to repeat the same process. So I'm going to push my heels into the shoes, dig back, so I feel the back of my legs. I'm going to bend my knees slightly. So again, it's like I'm on the wall. My torso stays atop my pelvis here, and I'm going to reach forward. Okay, in this position, I'm going to find my abs, take a deep breath in. Reach forward with my hands. Hinge back with my belly button. Deep breath in. Reach forward with my hands. Hinge back with my belly button. And put it another way for a lower body, I'm thinking about reaching forward with my knees and pulling back with my heels. So my, my hands and my knees come forward. My heels and my belly button goes backwards. So one more time. Deep breath in. Last one. Deep breath in. So reach and scoop. Now our last one to look at would just be standing itself, okay? And so, again, let's say in your boardroom, you know, you're, you're in a meeting even, you don't really have the opportunity to do any of that, all right? So I should, by this point, be able to push my feet into the ground and dig back. Here I can find my heels, right? Here I can also tuck under. So I don't, I don't even really need to bend my knees or do anything. I, I might just bend my knees about three inches there, 
Okay, that'll put me in a good position here. I can just reach for it a little bit. I can even put my hands on my knees and just kind of think about, thinking about reaching. Cross my arms. So again, you have a lot of options to get that done, but think of that, again, as kind of your Swiss Army knife of standing and using your hamstrings and your abs to kind of bring your body back into a better position when you start to, uh, to hurt. Uh, workshop some of these, let me know your best position, what you, you know, where you can feel stuff, where you can't feel stuff, that's kind of where you want to start a wall, kind of move to fewer things that you're pressing into to help to feel stuff, um, and let me know how that goes, post any questions, and I look forward to your success with that.